Hello, you guys. It is Tuesday, October 13th, and I have the day off today. Cody is working till 5.30, and I just thought I would kind of vlog, probably vlog throughout the week. We um don't have a lot going on. Cody only works three days this week, but two of his days were eight-hour shifts, so it still like equals out to the hours he's supposed to work. And um, I have a staff meeting today at 1.15, so I actually have to go to work today, but only for like an hour for the staff meeting. And I get paid for it, so whatever. Um, so I was thinking about making some lunch early. It's 10.30, but I'm having some issues. So I'm having some issues with my um, stomach, I want to say. This has happened, this has been happening since last Thursday, um, actually like Friday morning. So I think I have GERD. I don't go to a doctor. I haven't been to a doctor in years. And so like, I have never been diagnosed with it, but I can definitely tell I have the symptoms of it. Um, and I've always known that I've had acid reflux problems. There have been times where I've had like heartburn for like four days straight. Um, so I have I've no, always known I've had acid reflux and since Friday well Friday morning I actually had a call out of work because I ha was having this really bad um stomach pains it kind of felt like there was like lead in my stomach and it was definitely from what I had eaten the day before I think because we got pizza from this um place that we hadn't had pizza from in a while and I actually just found out from my boss that she had pizza from the same place and she had the same feeling. Like it was like your stomach felt hard. And I said, yes, that's why I had to call out Friday. Like I felt I was in so much pain, like I couldn't go in. And um, ever since then, I have had this issue where it kind of feels like I'm nauseous and hungry at the same time. And I feel like it's been happening when I've been getting hungry and I don't know what it is. I've been trying today to drink only water because I know that I haven't been really good about drinking water in a while. So I'm thinking maybe it could be that I'm dehydrated also. So I'm trying to only drink water. I'm already on my third bottle and it's 1030. So I am feel like I'm doing really good. But I feel like once I get hungry, that's when I get that feeling. And it's actually been, I mean, waking up to this feeling. So that has been really sucking. Because, like, this morning I've been up since 4 o'clock because my stomach just was hurting so bad. Like, I didn't know what to do. And I just, I don't know. I've been trying today also to eat healthier. I am on, I've been doing eye track bites. And it's basically a way to do Weight Watchers for cheaper. It's 30 bucks a year versus Weight Watchers being, like, 10 bucks a month or something. So... I've been trying to be good about using it. I've been really struggling with like actually like getting into it. Like I have not had a day where I've tracked the entire day or where I've done good the entire day. I only worked out one week since I've started and I started about a month ago. I even started before Cody and I got engaged and now I just have more motivation to want to do it and want to lose weight because obviously I'm getting married in a year. And I want to be able to look good in, like, my wedding dress and all that. So, it's been really hard for me because it's just, I don't know what to do. Because this has been happening for, like, four or five days now. I feel like it's only happening once I get hungry. And that's why I'm wondering, like, is it, I don't know. I can't describe it. It's, like, Kind of like the feeling like, you know when you're really hungry and you can tell your stomach is going to start growling? It's like that feeling, but then my stomach doesn't growl. And it's like I want my stomach to growl because then I get would get some sort of comfort from it. but Or relief, I guess I should say. So, I don't know what's going on. Um, Cody's going to pick me up some Pepto-Bismol when he gets out of work. So I'm going to try that, like some sort of antacid to see if it works. Because I think when it comes down to it, I think it's just my acid reflux acting up. 
and yeah so um, I'm gonna make some lunch early it's 10 30 but again I have that staff meeting at 1 15 and I've also been up since four and all I've eaten today is when I first got up and started having that feeling I had a pop tart to try to get something into my stomach to try to calm it and then I think around seven I made some Kodiak cakes we picked this up at Target it's um uh, like protein pancakes and it's like four or five points for a half cup of batter which makes about three like pancakes about this size so I had that which it does have some protein but clearly it I don't think it was like enough to really fill me for like a long period of time so I think I'm gonna make some uh, lunch and then yeah and I'll show you guys what do you guys want to see like videos about me doing the Weight Watchers like should I do like what I eat in a day on it sometimes or anything like that I have to be on my days off because I don't film when I'm working but anyways I'm going to I'm craving pasta so I'm gonna see if I ha I can get like a low point pasta lunch going here I end up being high in points so I don't know will I regret it later I don't know my dinner is gonna be really low in points so we'll see but um, it's just a salmon fillet. I get these from Great Value. They're like five bucks and you get like five fillets. And then I have 56 grams of pasta. I did weigh it. And then it's a cup of green peas. The pasta is like six points. The peas are zero. The salmon's two points. The butter, which I haven't decided yet if I'm going to cheat and not count it because butter is really high in points. But the thing is, is I don't have like... What I need to get is that like spray that I can't believe it's not butter spray. That's what a lot of people on Weight Watchers use. So I need to get that. Actually, I'll add it to my Walmart order. So I might cheat and not count the butter, but I might just for the sake of the fact that I'm being good and actually tracking today. So yeah, but I'm going to see if this will fill me. If it doesn't, then I'll just eat some sort of zero point snack with like veggies or a fruit or something. All right, real life. I just got home from my staff meeting, and I'm eating Doritos, so clearly my Weight Watcher thing is going out the window for today. The issue is that pain in my stomach makes me want to keep eating, so that way I don't get that pain. So, um, the staff meeting was dumb, because... I went in to work on my day off for it, and all it was was like a 10-minute powwow kind of thing. Like, oh, these are the things the state will look at when they come in. I work in a nursing home, by the way, so like we get inspected every single year. And it's like da-da-da-da-da-da-da. These are the things they'll look at. Okay, great. Now let's eat pizza. And I'm like, why couldn't you have just filled, that, filled me in on that tomorrow when I'm in at work? Oh. Um, I'm not trying to complain, but it's like I felt like nothing was talked about that honestly needed to be talked about. There's a lot of stuff going on at work that needs to be addressed. And I felt like that was the perfect time to do it and it didn't happen. So disappointed I went in and because I work like twenty minutes away from here and um Cody works in the same town I work. So that's why we're trying to get out of this town that we're in because we're just so sick of this town and we want to get closer to where we work. But like this, now I have to like 530, I got to go get Cody. So I'm going to that town literally three times today. Again, I'm not trying to complain, but it's like, really? I had to go in on my day off of that. Anyway, so I'm sitting here eating Doritos, watching some wedding planning videos from other people slash Weight Watcher videos and waiting until Cody gets home. I might try to start dinner early so that way when we get home we could just eat. But since tonight is like a chicken leg with like squash and potatoes, it might be hard to do that. So I don't know. We'll see. Hey guys, so it is um, Thursday. I keep thinking today's Friday. I wish it would mean I'd have the day off tomorrow, but it is Thursday and it is 
almost six o'clock. I am picking up Cody from work. I'm just waiting for him to come out. And then I think we're going to just go out for dinner, but I don't know where we're going to go. Uh, we talked about maybe just getting, getting some like KFC and going home. Um, today I worked and then I went home at about, I want to say I probably didn't get home till about 2.30 and I literally laid in bed until I think like 5 and then I, because I was just so tired, I took like a 30, 40 minute nap, talked to Cody when he was on his 15 minute break and then um, I got up about five and just watched a couple YouTube videos until it was time to come here to get Cody. So, um, yeah, but I didn't update yesterday just because, what did we do yesterday? Cody had the day off, I worked, then I went home, and I think we were just really lazy the rest, the whole day we did. Um, we've been real obsessed with playing this game called Mario Super Mario 35. If you have a Switch, it's free and it's addicting. You like play Super Mario against 35 people. And I don't know if you guys have a Switch and ever heard of Tetris 99, where you like play against 99 people. Well, Tet um, this is kind of like the same thing. It's like Super Mario 35. You play Super Mario against 35 people. And every time you like kill an enemy, you basically send it to another player to like attack them. And it's basically like the last one standing wins kind of thing. So it's actually so fun, so addicting. So we're probably gonna get some takeout, go home and play it for the rest of the night. Um, and then tomorrow I actually have my earlier shift where I do five to 1.30. Usually I do 5.30 to 1.30. I know that makes no sense, but it does make like a huge difference what time I go to work because yeah. And also like my responsibilities change. Like my 5 to 1.30 shift is a little bit harder than my 5.30 to 1.30 shift because I'm the actual cook, not the prep cook. So I'm not excited for that because it's not my favorite. And <clears throat> then we have the weekend off. Cody um, um, got put on the schedule for Saturday, but we actually have a wedding that day. And he says he swore he requested off. So he did talk to her, his um, boss today. And I think she said he's off the hook, but to try to get someone to take his shift. So I have to ask him what went down because I'm hoping we can still go. I mean, it's kind of a wedding we aren't totally excited for, but we're also like excited for the excuse to like dress up and get out of the house. And um, yeah, his cousin is getting married. And then I think after the wedding, we're going to go out to eat with my brother and his girlfriend because they also have a wedding a different wedding and they just liked they just um they were like we're just so excited to be able to like be dressed up and have a night with no kids so they wanted to go out with Cody and I so that's what we're gonna do and then Sunday I think we might just be lazy but we are talking we did agree that Sunday we would sit down and talk about some wedding planning because um, I've just been really stressed out about the wedding planning and I'm still in the beginning stages of it all. So, yeah. So I'm going to, once we like have certain things down packed and like some plans even, I'll do a sit down video maybe talking about some of those plans. I was thinking about sitting down and doing a sit down video talking about like the overall vision of the wedding since I'm still in the early stages right now. So like it's too soon to really like super plan. But um, yeah, the whole thing's been stressing me out because I know the wedding is a year away. But the thing is, is and I try to explain to Cody because Cody was like trying to say like, oh, it's all going to come together. It's all going to be it's too soon. It's too soon. And I said, but it's really not too soon because the thing with weddings is that sometimes you have to book these vendors that you want to use like a year in advance. And especially it's hard because all there were a lot of weddings that were this, that were supposed to be this year that got postponed to next year. So now you're also competing with people that are postponing their weddings to next year. And so we got to just sit down 
and talk things out and talk about like the timeline. Okay, when do we hire these people? When do we do this? When do we do that? We need to figure out how to take engagement photos um, and figure out when to send the save the dates. We're thinking about just doing it in our Christmas cards, like do like Merry Christmas, save the date, and then do the date. And yes, so that is really all I had to update you guys on. Um, yeah, I've just been so tired this week and my indigestion's a lot better. When I woke up from my nap, I did eat a Pepsid chewable. Ugh. I hate, I hate chewable pills. It grosses me out, but that was the only kind of Pepsid they had. And the Pepsid has been helping. Last night when I went to bed, I felt a lot of heartburn, which is strange because like we had shepherd's pie for dinner. And I just felt like that wasn't something that would give me heartburn because I didn't really put anything in. It's just potatoes and ground beef and some mixed vegetables. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what it could be. I mean, I did drink soda, I guess. So maybe that was it. But yeah, um, the indigestion's been going on for almost a week now. Tomorrow will be one week if I still have it tomorrow. But it is dying down and the Pepsid is helping. So... I think that's just the answer. So, um, but yeah, Cody is about to come out and then we're going to go get dinner. I'll show you guys what we end up getting. And I also don't know if we're going to like go out, out or like get takeout and come home, go home, probably go home. It's already six o'clock. So, and your girl has a bedtime of like eight. So yeah, I'll check in with you guys either in a little bit. Or tomorrow, because I do plan to get a grocery pickup tomorrow if I can get a decent time to get one. So, yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it is Friday, October 16th. It's 2 p.m., just go home from work. And I picked up my Walmart order, so I want to show you guys what I got for us for the next couple weeks. I spent 105 76 and I think that's pretty good for what I got. Um, they were out, they outed me. Um, some deli turkey, which is weird. They didn't even substitute it. They were like, meh, it's unavailable. So that's the only thing. And they substituted a couple things. So uh, we got two things of Mountain Lightning for Cody. It tastes just like Mountain Dew, but like half the price. Cody likes these Tony's pepperoni pizzas. So I got two of those for him. And Cody's been worried he's getting sick. So I got him some orange juice. I got this with the recommendation from Amanda Lewis on YouTube. She's a, a Weight Watcher YouTuber, and I'm on the Weight Watcher Blue plan, but I do it through iTrack Bites through the Better Balance plan. And she showed uh, these ramens to make like a Weight Watcher version of ramen. So this is the Ocean's Halo Organic Ramen Noodles. I think the package is, one of the packages is like two points or something. And then the broth is like one point per one cup or something. So I thought I would try that because I do like ramen. And I got a bunch of packets. So I got a chicken gravy mix, two brown gravy mixes, and a ranch seasoning mix. I wanted to mix this with like yogurt to make a, a veggie dip. Then I got this for my feet because I have really bad calluses on my feet. So I'm hoping to maybe soak my feet tonight with my um, Epsom salts and then I'll maybe use the pumice stone on them. We were out of garlic powder so I had to get a new one of those. I got this Progresso Light Soup. This is the chicken noodle one. I think this is low in points. So I figured someday when I have a day off and I need something for lunch, I'll just have a can of soup. And I was out of foot cream. And so I got this Dr. Teal's foot cream with pure Epsom salt. So I'm excited to try this because my feet have just been really bad lately. I really want to fix them. Got this three pound bag of the boneless skinless chicken breast from Great Valley. These are just frozen chicken breasts. Thought this would be good for like meal prepping or for meals. I got a bag of fat free cheddar cheese. Some bologna for Cody. Ah, that rhymes. Got, ooh, these don't look good. All right, I might complain about these, but I'll see. But these are halved Brussels sprouts, but see how they're like all brown? 
I don't know, maybe they're salvageable, but that was, yeah. I got a thing of celery. I got these, they're pretty popular through the Weight Watcher community. I think these are like four points a bar and people rave about them. I've had the Honey Nut Cheerio ones and those are really good. So I wanna try the Reese Puff ones. I got some grape tomatoes, some bagged apples for Cody and I as well as some clementines. I was excited to see those on sale. Cody likes these uh, pizza Lunchables. I try to get them the pepperoni ones, but they substitute them for cheese. So they, I bought six of these. I got the, I can't believe it's not butter spray. This is good on Weight Watchers. I think this is zero points actually. And I got some mushrooms for myself cause Cody hates them. Got us some carrots. I got four zucchinis. Some rainbow peppers. And I got the mini cucumbers. This time of year I like to buy the mini cucumbers because I know that they're always like good. Whereas like the bigger ones are usually like too soft or something. I got us a toilet bowl cleaner. This is just from Great Value. And it has bleach in it. I got these for Cody because he likes them. These are the pumpkin delight cookies. I don't know if you guys have ever had these, but he really likes these. So I wanted to get him two of these. Some eggs then i just got some frozen vegetables i got some peas and carrots and just some sweet peas we like both of those and then i got a 12 pack of the angel soft toilet paper and last but not least i got myself a diet root beer so that's everything i got from walmart i again i spent $105, I think. I'm going to see if I can complain about the Brussels sprouts. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to put this all away, maybe take a nap or at least lay down for a little bit and then shower because I'm all gross and sweaty. And then I don't know what we're doing tonight, probably just lounging. And then tomorrow we have to go to a wedding and then we're going out to eat with my brother and his girlfriend. So yeah, but I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. All right guys, it is Saturday, it's 1.30 and we have a wedding to go to. I forgot to vlog this morning, but um, I did my hair today. I used my Persona Identity Palette for my makeup. Cody's inside Party City right now with his mom. They're getting tablecloths for the wedding because um, the people getting married are Cody's cousins and yeah, so and we had breakfast with everybody it was kind of a really bad experience um just like service wise at the restaurant we went to and yeah so we the wedding's at two we're definitely gonna be late because i don't even know how long far away their house is from here so that sucks and yeah but it's pouring rain and these poor people were gonna have a backyard wedding and now i feel really bad they have to have it in their garage now, but I'm sure they made it look pretty, so it's going to be fine. And we are just going to go and have a good time, and then I think we're going to go out to dinner with my brother if we can get out of the wedding um, by like 5 or something. We're going to have dinner with my brother and his girlfriend tonight. And I've been having a rough day because, I don't know, I just... Weddings kind of stress me out right now because I'm planning one and I went and um, we went to breakfast with Cody's brother and his fiance and there were some like comments made that upset me and I'm also nervous because I'm supposed to ask her to be my bridesmaid but her and I never really talk and I feel weird asking but it's really important to Cody that I ask her. Otherwise, I would just have it be my sister and my brother's girlfriend because I don't really care how many bridesmaids I have. I'm not having like the best day, but I'm gonna hopefully just shake this off and we can go have a good time at this wedding. And yeah, so I will check in with you guys hopefully in a little bit. Hopefully I have the guts to actually take out my phone and film some things of the wedding, so. Um, we're going to be taking notes from these guys because they did like a very inexpensive wedding and we're trying to do inexpensive So we're going to definitely take notes from these guys and get some advice from them. So yeah, but I'll check in with you guys in a little bit
right guys, while I take off my makeup, I figured I'd recap our day because I didn't really get a chance to film, although I probably put in something from the wedding, whether it's like the pictures I took or something. Before the wedding, we went out to breakfast with Cody's parents and grandparents and his brother and the brother's fiance. And we went to this, it's like this truck stop slash restaurant. And the service was pretty bad. I mean, we waited forever for them to even like take our order. Like, I swear, I think we waited a half an hour between getting our beverages and her even coming over to take our order. And then we waited like an hour for our food. And then everyone's, everyone else's food was like cold. My pancakes were hot and they were actually pretty good. But so then by the time we were done there, it was like 1230 and the wedding was at two supposed to be. So we got out there late. It was like two oh something. But they, because of the rain, they decided to push the wedding ceremony to like four because it was just so rainy that, and they're, it was at their house. They were just going to have like a backyard wedding and they just couldn't because of the rain. So they actually moved the reception area into their garage. They were able to like clean it out and make it into like this nice reception area. It did look really nice though for like a home wedding. And then we, whoa, I look crazy. So we got there at like 2.15, maybe even 2.30ish. And the bride and groom hadn't even gotten dressed yet. Like we're still, like not even starting to get ready. Like they were still like doing little things for the wedding and people were like, guys, go get ready, go get ready. And I wanna say, honey, was that like four you think? When we, the first time we were outside? Honey? Yes, ma'am. Do you think it was like at like four or something that we were standing outside for the first time? Uh, yes. So at like four, I'm trying to tell the story of my day. So at like four, they were like, it's time guys. So we all go out and they were gonna have the ceremony just right on their port since it had a roof. And then they did have a tent for all of us to just kind of stand and huddle underneath. And um, so we're waiting and then waiting and waiting and then um, the photographer came out to kind of say like, they need a few more minutes. And they said they, they did like at least 20 more minutes. Cause they, she didn't start getting ready till like three o'clock. So she was still like curling her hair and getting on her dress. So, um, so they, we went back into the garage to wait for like, I want to say like a good half hour and then they came in was like 15 more minutes and then I think it was like a little bit past five like a few minutes past five someone finally came out came in and said like okay now we're ready and then they had the ceremony it was the ceremony was quick I think it there was no way it was more than like 10 minutes it might have even been under 10 minutes it was like really quick so it was at like five something that we we're finally done with the ceremony and Cody and I had plans with my brother at like six ish. So we ended up leaving about 5:45, and went out to this Chinese uh, restaurant with my brother and his girlfriend and had dinner with them cause they had a night away from their kids. Um, yeah, so we didn't even get to stay really for like the actual reception part because where we had been waiting so long for the ceremony to start, we um 
had to leave right after it was done. So we are back home now. It's like almost eight o'clock and took off our makeup and we're just gonna lounge around. I am exhausted because I've been up since six and it's just been go, go, go all morning. And yeah, so I just wanted to tell you guys a little summary of our day. But all in all, I mean, she, the, the decorations they used were beautiful. She was beautiful. I wish we could have stayed longer. Like if we hadn't had all these other plans, we would have obviously stayed, but we had already made plans because we were planning on have, going to a wedding at two. And then by the time the wedding and all that was going to be done, it would have been like five, five thirty ish that we could have left. But since the ceremony didn't start till like five, we just couldn't stay for all the other things. And I do feel bad about that. I'll probably send her a message on Facebook tonight or tomorrow. Um, but it was really nice and she was absolutely beautiful. I loved her dress and I thought she looked really pretty. Um, yeah, definitely took some notes for her own wedding. Um, and we all honestly had like second thoughts about our venue after today because it was absolutely freezing and with the rain and obviously like we're in Maine and October 23rd of next year could be so many different things. It could be raining, it could be cold, it could be hot, it could be like in the 70s or it could be snowing like you just never know and so we were honestly we're discussing whether or not to even go through with this outdoor venue um because we haven't signed a contract or sent out any money yet so we um honestly we're thinking like before we actually like sign the papers and pay or maybe we should think about getting a venue that is indoors because there is no really contingency plan in place in case it rains like we are going to be renting tents anyways and people will just have to get wet if it ends up um raining and then we thought well we really like this venue maybe we should just push it to spring of 2022 um and my mom said like a mid-may wedding would be nice but we just honestly don't want to wait that long so thankfully my brother's girlfriend kind of helped calm me down because she said you know what it's i think it'll be fine you're gonna have those tents like we said we're gonna be renting tents that have walls they're like closed in tents and there's going to be portable heaters we can use. And, you know, the main thing I'm worried about is the ceremony space. But the ceremony is, we are, we're not planning on it being more than a half an hour top. So, um, she said it's going to be fine. If people don't plan accordingly and dress accordingly, then it's their own fault. So, we're still going to go through with it and go through with our venue. We're just going to talk to the woman we, we need to talk to her anyways and send her some questions about what we have for the venue. And one of the questions is going to be because she, this venue she has open until the end of October. And so I know that she's probably had weddings where it has been really cold or it's rained or whatever. And maybe she can tell us what has happened when that has happened. So, yeah, but, um... Yeah, we just got home and we're exhausted and my back hurts so I need to go ask Cody to rub it and we're gonna go play some video games and hang out and then just probably go to bed early again because we're both really tired. So I will check in with you guys tomorrow.